Hello and welcome to the first ever video from uh, Skyhawk Gaming today. And for today's first video, we will be doing a flight from Melbourne International Airport in Florida to Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport in Georgia. Uh, today's flight time should be less than an hour. And the way this will work is I'll record us climbing, takeoff climb and the descent and final approach into Atlanta. So today we are started, parked at the gate at Melbourne International Airport. And let's go outside the cockpit. And as you can see we are directly next to another Delta DC-950. Uh, it looks like it's about to leave as well. Um, custom air traffic out of my is at Northwest DC-9 just back when they were doing flights before Delta introduced their uh, DC-9. Uh, we got two US Air RJs that go to Charlotte here. So that's nice. Um, our ATC should get us to runway and 9 are right for takeoff. And today's route is... Let's get it right here. Melbourne National Airport, runway 9 are right. Uh, the Mike Lima Bravo VOR direct to the Victor Kilo Kilo VOR and then to the Mike Charlie November VOR and finally Atlanta National Airport runway 10 I do not uh, have uh, let's see I don't have the frequency to ILS it in so I will visually land it in should be fun so without doubt without do I'm just gonna get started here do not have a very good 2D panel, so I cannot hold my altitude and select as far as I can see. This is a glitch, so, uh, uh, with the, the lights, it'll just give me an error message, but it shouldn't be a problem. So, did I close the doors? Just want to make sure. Yep, they're closed. Alright, let's get our clearance to, uh, Atlanta. No more clearance delivery. Delta 2195. Delta My instruments are just freaking out. It's interesting. <laughs> Alright. Okay, perfect. Alright, let's push back here. Lights are on. Engine starting. Instruments should level themselves out, which is good. Um, I don't know how far we have until we hit the grass. So let's just go outside and just check on that. Not too far. Uh, I'm going to turn off the beacon because it's going to be quite annoying. If I can find it. Oh, it's right here. No, I don't think I have an option to do that. Oh, this is good. Parking brake on. Let's see if this engine will start. I haven't actually done a flight with this plane. Okay, engine number one has started. Perfect. Let's get for number two here. And another thing, this plane does not have FMC. Future flights, if this goes good will be with FMC with the uh, PMDG products, which is nice. So, uh, let's just wait for engine number two to start up here. Uh, having some troubles with an older aircraft, so it might take a little while. Come on, baby. Throttles work. Good start. It keeps uh, dropping down to zero. Okay, I think it started. Alright, cool. Okay, perfect. Just make sure. Just throttle up a little bit. Okay, it started. 
Okay, let's get our taxi clearance. No Let's flash down. Okay, we're on the narrow road. Let's pan out the view a little bit. Um, if my plane goes berserk, it's not me, but my joystick is uh, having some problems with the rudder, especially. So, I might unplug it if it starts spazzing out and get a new one. Okay. Let's pull out. Avoid our aircraft to our left in. Just our left. Yeah. Alright. Um. I don't usually follow ATC's uh, taxi guidelines. I just, just kind of figure my best way out. I just stay direction of travel here. Just follow the lines. Okay. Let's swing her around. Got to pan out. I don't have a virtual cockpit in this. If it had a virtual cockpit, it would be much easier to do everything. That uh, Delta plane is uh, not too far from taxiing itself, so it should be fun. See, my uh, my traffic pack actually is global AI traffic. If you want to go check that out, that's that'd be cool. It's a very nice pack. They are currently in 3.02. was just released. I have not downloaded it yet, but actually I do have it here. But this has a bunch of bugs. They fixed all those bugs and released a different pack. So tomorrow I will probably install that when I have time. It's currently about uh, almost 11 o'clock at night here. School tomorrow, but flying is above that all. Okay. So let's bring her down the long straight here. A um, couple of my add-ons. I have Real Environment Extreme. I love the just love this add-on. It makes the world look so much nicer. It's sleek. Okay. Let's see. Let's try to figure this thing out. Um, mock heading. I'm not too good with mock, so. Uh, the cruising altitude, I believe, is. P I'm just gonna keep her nice and smooth. Point point seven five. I have no idea the cruise speed for the DC nine. I'm usually flying heavy aircraft across the Pacific and Atlantic Ocean. I do I do th this route a lot in the MD-88, which I'm kind of more familiar with. Both older aircraft, but still get the job done. Currently, Delta does this route with varying between the MD-88 and the DC-9, and occasionally will bring in the 757, which I am more familiar with. And... That's fun. And I still have no idea why my, uh... Airspeed's not working. Oh well. We have uh, other ways to get over that. Um, let's see. Let's just bring up the Shift Z tab for purposes. Don't need all the information. Let's just do this. I'm currently taxiing about 16 knots. I would do more, but actually, uh, let's pull her up a little bit more. Let's get her about 30 knot of taxi. And off to our left here, we got an ATI DC-8. They've currently moved their location to uh, Patrick Air Force Base, but I keep the AI flight plan here, just because. Okay, so far the rudder's going pretty well for us. No problems, really. Come on, okay, just froze a little bit with the problem. I'm going to have this a lot during the video, but the... The lights kind of have a problem with uh, a sound file, but I don't know what it is. I'll fix it eventually. The sound is the TSS DC9 package, which is nice. I like the sound of it. Okay, now we're having some rudder problems. Well, we're almost at the taxiway, so let's bring her on over to a uh, tower because we don't have much of a traffic here. Okay, it's 714. Let me get my iPod in to do the timing. 
our flight. Clock. Okay, we're just about here. Let's idle the throttle. Let's add a little bit of braking. Alright, we have our flaps set for takeoff. I'm going to say we're going to take off at about 145 knots. Maybe less. Should not be a long takeoff roll. We do not have a lot of fuel for the one hour flight up. Okay. Oops, brought the view down a little bit. Alright. Perfect. All right, let's contact us. The tower clearance. Delta tower, Delta two one nine five, ready for IFR departure. Runway nine right. Delta two one nine five, clear for takeoff. Runway nine right. All right, we got our takeoff clearance. Runway nine right. Delta two one nine five. Let's pin the view out. Let's get this right. That's good. All right, pin the view out so we can line up. And let's get this journey up. Early morning departure. Uh, good old Niner right. That should be fun. Glare. Alright, here we go. Full throttle. The rudder is very sensitive on this plane. Got a really fix her. Throttle down a little bit for efficiency. This rudder just now. Uh, let's rotate. And we're off. You're up. Glamorous departure. Alright, well, let's get the autopilot on, let's go to nav 1. And an important thing we want to do here with this thing is we want to avoid airspace with patch air force space. Which way we'll see coming up. The two deep on our climb, I'll pull back a little bit. Should come into view. That's Patrick Air Force Base. So we're gonna avoid that. Going over. That's the Pineda Causeway. That's where we. That's where I live. So. We'll follow that and get to my house. Cool thing about this is these guys always fly over my house, so it's in the flight plane. It's always nice. Uh, uh, two minutes in. Flaps up. Throttle back a little bit because we're about to get to 8,000. Idle her out. Let's quickly just stay here. About a K. I have no autopilot for uh, altitude. So get it. There we go. So, flight level 220 for uh, Delta 2195. Alright, let's get us in a nice climb. Busy ATC always. Um, about 10,000, so we can go over 250, about 290. Delta 
contact Jacksonville control on 133 decimal 325. So, um, Delta 827, contact Miami control on 134 decimal 55. Looking nice outside. Okay, don't have any traffic on our TCAS down there. So we're running pretty nice. Okay, so. Get to our cruising altitude and then we'll just cut her off. So Busy ATC this morning. Alright, we're about full throttle still. Gaining just a little bit of speed, not too much. It's it's perfectly fine. Our cruising altitude today is, of course, uh, flight level 310. Um, pretty sure they made us go clear up to 220. I don't remember. <laughs> but... ATC here is uh, strict. Delta if you don't fall exactly what they do, contact they will Miami bug you with messages. Alright, coming in on 190. Uh, still following our flight plan. Uh, probably on the Victor Kilo Kilo VOR. Almost at 21,000, thousand to go almost. So let's, let's give her a little bit less of a climb because we are losing speed. Thinner air means less wing, less uh, wind over the wings. So, yep, coming in on a there's the air. Okay, cleared that out. Okay, two two zero. Let's reduce our speed. Actually, we don't need to. Actually, never mind. Delta two one nine climb flight level three one zero. Our cruising altitude. Climb and maintain flight level three one zero. Delta two one nine five. So yes, we are basically following the coast upward to central Georgia. Orlando International Airport is to our left currently. Get that in the view. Speed. Miami Control Delta 827 with you. Flight level 320. Delta 827. Miami Control Roger. Alright, we got Delta a little, a little bit more speed. Contact Let's Jacksonville Control on 133 decimal 325. Alright. 133 decimal 325. Delta 827. Goodbye. Um, I, saw, I have a contrail add on, but. I'm still trying to figure out how to lengthen them up a little bit. I had a bunch of problems. I figured that was an old add-on I had that caused no contrails. I'm glad I got that Delta fixed. One, one, nine, or zero, that level two, so eight, seven, speed there. Again, I don't have a good visual aspect with the virtual cockpit. I'm just doing 2D. It's kind of hard to see everything. Still no traffic in the mist. Still just having trouble with this, this joystick here. Oh, 270. Contra will come up soon. 280. Oh, okay. Losing speed, so we're gonna ease up a little bit. Um, that's not even right, so whatever. Just go up. Um, two thousand. Contra, okay. Surprised. I don't even know if this aircraft has it, to be honest. Probably doesn't. Not gonna complain. Okay. So, one thousand, good. Alright. 
settle in here. Alright. 500. So no, 500 now. And we got a radio transmission. Perfect Delta timing. Control on one, three, four, decimal zero. And almost zero. Okay. Let's go to I our muffle. Okay. okay, I need to get to our altitude here. Nope, I'm descending. Let's slow down a little bit. Alright, here we are. Hold altitude. Perfect. Alright. Auto throttle arm. Yeah, we were a bit fast, it's okay. Let's move her up. Alright, we're descending. Okay, I'm having trouble with this autopilot. I think I'll just manually fly her. Alright, so we're basically at our cruising altitude, so I'm just gonna end her until we descend. Alright, see you then. Okay, welcome back. Uh, we just began the descent down to Atlanta, clear down to uh, light level uh, 200. Uh, six six mark. Hold that altitude off. Uh, left two nine five. So no, just do it off. Oh, oh, tilt. Why are you tilting? Ah, get back on the nav. Um, okay. Where? Delta two one nine or five. Please expedite your turn to heading two nine or five. And now. I'm going to bring down the second Um... Let's see, where's my heading? Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. So we're just going to make a clear left turn. This plane is very sensitive, which is something I don't like. Delta 2, 1, 9, or 5. Please expedite your turn yep, to heading 2, I 9, or 5. And we are clear for ILS and then our right. About... 50 miles out. Delta 1533, descend and maintain 8,000. American 9 uh, Okay. I do not have any uh, AI smooth on, so this is just, uh, we don't make it. We have to go around, so that'll be fun if we ever have to do that. I already put in the, uh, ILS data into the console down here, 1089 for runway 9 or right. Okay. I'm not watching my heading, am I? <laughs> it's a little bit wet. Um, if I could find my heading indicator, it would be great, but I have no idea what it is. And Atlanta is loading. The clock is messed up, I don't know why. Whatever. Um so let's flip this back on the uh let's flip this off. And let's flick on the nav switch. So we can quickly get in here. This is a pretty steady uh, descent rate. I'm not going to complain too much about it. Alright, that's about 295. These DC-9s, you get to fly a lot of manually. The autopilot's not really reliable. Okay, currently proceeded off the uh, Mike Charlie November uh, VOR. And going on course to the airport. So give or take a few minutes here. Should be good. Let's see if this TCAS will work. Is it even on? Can't really do anything. Atlanta Control Delta 827 with you. Okay. Okay. 
clear soon here. Delta 827 traffic at 7 o'clock at 2 miles at 177 uh, Delta 2 1900 to go. Yep. 2000 to go, excuse me. 128.0 for Delta 2 Yep. 2 to go. Altitude hold switch. It's not even worth it because we're probably going to go down as soon as we get there. Yep. 95, let's go down to 6,000. Roger. On course 295. Yeah, this is going to be kind of hard without the virtual cockpit to, uh, so we can look left and right. So, I'm going to just flick you off and just idle down. Um, auto throttle off. Autopilot's not even on. This is my bad anyway. So we want to be under 250 knots, under 10,000, but we got about 8,600 left. We're in descent here. Um, airport, let's see if we can see it. Can't really get a good visual, it's out over there. Atlanta Control Delta, 1869. I like this a lot, but... Instruments and uh, cockpit, not really Roger. my favorite at all. Okay. So, just the boring old uh, bringing her down cruise. Um, okay. Let us. Um, Atlanta Control Gulf Stream, November 5, 1, 6. Let's check we got here on the radio too. November 51602, Atlanta Control, Roger. Actually, never mind, this is right. So it's 12.05, uh, Greenwich Mean Time, not, uh, 12.05 here. Atlanta Center, altitude 118, is at 9,600, climbing by level 210. Delta 218, Atlanta Control, Roger, altimeter 2,902. Um, 10,000 to go. Um, instruments look okay, oil Seven, pressure, six, six, oil temp, oil temp on the green. Four miles at altitude, one, Gulf stream, Gulf stream. Gulf stream, Delta, okay. one, eight, six, niner, climb and maintain flight level, one, niner, zero, seven, six, Bitter. Contact Atlanta, control, one, three, four, decimal five. They'll guide us really through the... Two. Traffic is nine Again, I'm very low on my navigation. I'm only up with the uh, Atlanta, ATC here. Atlanta, Control American 1907 is at 9,200, climbing to altitude 13,000. American 1907, Atlanta, Control Roger, altimeter 2,900, to be 3,250, uh, 4,000 to go. About 3,000 to go, I will do... Spoilers activated. So that's about 500 here, 600. Okay, yeah, let's uh, put some spoilers on here. Delta 2195. Alright, we're on Atlanta Contact approach. Atlanta approach on 119er decimal 8. 119.8 for Delta 2195. Just make sure the engines are responding Atlanta a little approach, bit. Delta 2195. Just kind of idling all the way down. Now we're really descending at a watch our descent rate. Right? 
Okay, that's that. Okay, percent Speed brakes are still armed. Just gotta watch that. Um, nose up a little bit. Oops. Error there. Hopefully we don't get that during landing. Alright, raise the nose because we don't want to be speeding. Mmm, just right. Flaps one. Atlanta approach, Delta 1533 with you, altitude 8000. Delta 1533, Atlanta approach, Roger. Altimeter 2992. I'm going to take the speed brakes off. Damn, this plane is hard to control. It's so sensitive. And still don't know where I am. 3,000 to go. Reasonable descent. Let's look on the autopilot. Make sure our heading's off. Off throttle autopilot. Uh, altitude. Actually, no, I'm not on yet. Sorry, my bad. And the airport I do not see. Okay. So... 2,000 to go. Delta 2, 1, 9, 5, turn right heading 320. Right heading 320, Delta 2, 1, 9, 5. Cessna 1, Foxtrot Hotel, climb and maintain 1, 1,000. Climb and maintain Delta 2, 1, 1,000. Cessna 1, Foxtrot Hotel. Really booking her down here. Uh, flaps 2. And watch the scent. Cessna 1, Buckshot Hotel. Contact the land approach on 118.35. Over to 1,000 to go. Decimal 35. Cessna 1, Buckshot Hotel. Thanks. Bye bye. Atlanta approach Delta two zero zero five with you altitude eight thousand Delta two zero zero five Atlanta approach Roger current altimeter two nine nine or two All right, we're losing a little bit of speed here. That's okay. Two we're under two hundred. Still on our landing speed. Shouldn't be that. About 135 knots, maybe. But I'd like to come in a little fast here for these airports Atlanta because, approach, just in case, November, two, zero, five, it's always late. We don't have much, uh, one, one, much weight. November, two, zero, five, Atlanta approach. Roger. Altimeter, two, minor, minor, two. Atlanta approach. Delta, one, two, eight, zero. Is that at one, two thousand for eight thousand? Delta, one, two, eight, zero. Atlanta approach. Roger. Current altimeter, two, minor, minor, two. Land our approach time. Alright, perfect. So, one, one, two, one, one, zero. Speed her up a little bit. Cessna 1 Foxtrot Hotel, contact Atlanta Control on 135 decimal 0. Uh, Delta much. Keep her nice. So, this is always a good sign uh, when we're close like this, other airplanes get the ILS approach. So, we should get this pretty soon here. And then we can be on our way. Until established on a localizer, contact Atlanta Tower on 123 decimal 85. Left heading 125, descend 3700, cleared ILS, runway 8, left approach, maintain 3700. 
So we do not. Degrees here coming up. 600 to go. There we go. Let's level our heading. A little bit more. Good on you. There we go. 380 left. And watch the speed a little bit. The aircraft flyer still down a little bit. Still don't have visual at the airport. Uh, I have to go outside and look. Okay, let's put you on. Okay, perfect. Let's get the speed up a little bit. Okay, so we're in the approach sector. Okay, there's Atlanta. I think we overshot it. Let's turn now. Probably off here, but whatever. So there's Atlanta over there. Perfect. It's very hard to see. Um, let's fix our lights on. Delta five four three five contact one, ground two, on three. one two one decimal seven five. So I'm probably overshot the uh, matter right. So we need to fall in the line here. Probably behind this A320. I know we got some traffic to our right, however. Uh, another A320. So let's just fly this. Let's just fly an angled approach in here. Um, nav, I, let's do nav one in here. Oh, it's on. Okay, it Atlanta it Tower, for us. Delta 5362 is 4-2 miles west, inbound ILS, runway 9 right approach. Delta 5362, Atlanta Tower, runway 9 right, altimeter 29092. A bit fast, but it's right. fine. Delta 5362. Again, not really my fault. Sort of airplanes, airplanes fall. Inbound ILS, runway 
a professional aircraft mill panel here to work with for uh, programming FMC or anything. Alright, he's gonna pull in front of us, so uh. Let's slow her down. Speed brakes armed. Okay. Don't really want to go around. Let's pan out a little bit. Okay, we are on direct linkage for uh, Niner Right. Uh, let's slow her down to 160 knots. Get a good separation. Which we call for a. Uh, since I hit full, I think. I don't remember. I use the F keys for flaps, just so much simpler than uh, pulling a lever. Okay. Slow her down even more. An ideal situation, four nautical miles of separation would be perfect. But unfortunately, no. Nose is up pretty high, but okay. Um, we are a bit low, so let's climb a little bit. Nav does not take control of the uh, altitude, I do not think. But this is good, um, we are He's about uh, two nautical miles ahead of us. If we keep it about this speed, it can even go a little lower. It should be uh, perfect. Uh, so that's a Delta 328. So we're about 20 miles out still, so... We have some time to uh, gain some separation. 2.2 nautical miles. I think I contacted the tower a bit too early, but it's okay. Okay, we're about 140. Speed up, don't want to stall this thing. It's lower. That plane comes in front of me. I will be so angry. But he might have to go around. I'm not sure what his flight plan is. Nor do I care. Oh, there, I hear a plane. I hear a plane. Where is he? Oh, you're kidding me, right? Oh, that's very mature, uh, Delta plane. Uh, next time I fly, I'll put AI-2 on. Uh, next aircraft is 4.5 out. Ah, wonderful. Okay. Let's flick altitude off here. I'll just manually drive her in. Okay. Click. This pan of view. View is terrible. And Niner writes the far, not the far one out. It's, I don't know why we don't have a landing there. I usually land there. I guess not today. Delta one five three three wind calm clear to land runway Niner right. Clear to land runway Niner right. Hmm. Delta one five three three. So let's start descending towards the runway. Let's put full flaps. Land as busy as usual. Delta 328, wind, calm, clear to land. 328's in front right. of us. Just pull that stupid Delta move. Yeah, we are slowing down a lot, that's great. Delta 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 it's flickering textures, I just absolutely hate that. Uh, with the strap right. guarded it far away, stuff is just awful. Zero. But Atlanta not with the plane, the FPS is great. Right. Two, so we're about 120 two. knots. Very slow. Just keep her this way. 2.4 nautical miles, it's good separation. Atlanta Tower, Delta 2005 is 10 miles west, inbound ILS, runway minor right approach. Delta 2005, Atlanta Tower, continue runway minor right, altimeter 2992. It looks like we're below the collide slope. Continue runway minor right, Delta 2005. Delta 2195, two for landing. Calm, clear to land, runway minor, right number two for landing. 
Oh, number two. Lower the gear. Atlanta Tower, Delta 827, miles west inbound, ILS, runway 9 right approach. Delta 827, Atlanta Tower, All right, let's continue to approach, runway 9 right, right general. altimeter, 29 so niner to descend a little bit here. Continue to approach, runway 9 right, Delta 827. Three knock on miles of separation, that's good. Atlanta Tower, Delta 521, Morpheus Fort 7, miles west inbound, ILS, runway 9 right approach, Delta 5214, Atlanta Tower, Runway 9 right, altimeter 2992. Delta 727, wind calm, clear to land. Runway 9 right, number 3 for landing. That Delta is a lot of aircraft. Go around, get everywhere. Go around. Okay. That Delta guy's going zero, around. Zero, Good. Five, wind calm, clear to land. Runway 9 right, number 3 for landing. Alright, we are way high. Clear to land. Runway 9 right, number 3. Delta 2005. Breaks. Clear to land, runway 9 right, number 3, Delta 727. Just install the bad thing, bad boy out. Make straight in, runway 9 right, Delta 521, Delta 328, contact Atlanta, approach on 118, decimal 35. A lot of aircraft just lined up Atlanta behind me. Clear, please. <laughs> you don't know how annoying it is to go around. Turn. I'm not gonna go around. Screw that. I'm just gonna slew, stay here and slew, because this is just annoying. They do not turn off at all, ever. Good. No, that's not him. That's not him, is it? Okay, that is him. Okay, we were in a perfect position. Okay. Alright, here we go. Landing time. I do not have the auto brakes arm. Let's autopilot off. Alright. Perfect glide path right now. Delta 7, two, seven. go around. Say again, go around. Hello, that's okay. Delta 2005, go around. 14, 13, go around. 20, 10. Go around. Delta 727. Heavy landing, but it's okay. Delta 727, contact Atlanta, approach on 118.35. Over to 118.35, Delta 727, bye bye. Okay. Going around, Delta 2005. Going on this air train aircraft. Breaking. Delta 2005, contact Atlanta, approach on 118.35. Okay. Speed break up. Over to 118.35, Delta 2005, thanks, bye bye. Delta 2195, contact ground on 121.75. Delta 1280, wind calm, clear to land, runway 9 right. Going to 121.75, Delta 2195. Do not know the movements here on the ground, so bear with me. Taxiing, hold short runway 9 left via taxiway Lima, Delta 5414. Atlanta ground, Delta 2195, to the gate. Do not like these planes, they just stay there and do absolutely nothing. Until they disappear after 15 minutes, which is something I want to uh, Don't want to run in this RJ. I know. Get me on the, uh, get me on the, uh, illegal, uh, taxiway, uh, jumping boat. Whatever. The uh, AI truck is stupid sometimes. And we'll turn off here, but we gotta watch the traffic. One just come to our left in the air. See what she is. A319 up there. Delta 5435, ATC's not really good about this. 
So we're going to pull up here. Hold our position. Oh, air train. Air train's right there. Oh, too many. So the air train did go for it. Do not, do not run into me, boy. Alright, we made it. Safety C makes mistakes. Okay, there's nothing going. Just look at all this air I tried. Atlanta, Brown, So much stuff today. Uh, ooh, Silver Airways saw it coming in. Probably. It's a pretty cool airline there at uh, Orlando. guys ready to go here. Um, I have a problem with the RJs though. They like to, to start at the gates instead of their normal uh, little uh, gates they do. Okay, we're almost there. We're going to pull in right up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's it going? Yep, thought so. Okay. Okay, what are you doing? Okay, so. 757. One's pulling in, one's pulling in. Alright, let's go for this one. There's a problem over there, or just stuck. Alright. Come on, give him, give him clearance to taxi. Actually, you know what, we'll just go for it, because he's not going to go it. Yep, sorry buddy, we're not waiting for you today. Should have winged, please. Oh my god, it is covering the gate. AI traffic again. Very disastrous. Slow down. It's idling itself. I'm not doing anything. The throttles. Delta 2203 with information November. Request and that's a flight today. 
Contact tower on 1-1, 9.5 on the way. Rubbing the wings. See, that's always a problem. This aircraft like to taxi, no on the lines, but outside the lines, and then they collide with that. That poor 757 for hearing cover needs to stop. Just pop it up in the door. And ladies and gentlemen, that is a flight from the Melbourne International Airport to Atlanta, Huntsville, Jackson, and Northfield. If you enjoyed, next time we will choose a more reliable aircraft for a uh, uh, more realistic plane. Probably a PNDG or something like that. Right, so thank you for watching. Uh, Skyhawk Gaming. Let's play. Let's more. See ya next time.